DIY mermaid tail. Add in some highlights to the bottom. I've already done it in the, um, oh geez, what were my colors? Oh, uh, this was a blend between Plum Crazy, um, oh, and I believe the Hey Sailor. Plum Crazy by Dixie Bell is the hot pink up here. Hey Sailor by DIY Paint, this company, which is clay based paint and blending the two, creating the purple, which a lot of the drawers are gonna be covered in a redesign with Prima patchwork transfer. So I'm honestly just trying to recreate, I'm gonna bring this down some, trying to recreate a look I've done before. Well, I've done several of them, I should say. Let me see, I'm sorry. I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing. But uh, now I'm just trying to add more highlights to it. Try to scoot it over here. There we go. There's a really pretty uh, design down here that I've highlighted. It's hard to see. But um, so now all I'm doing is add in some color to the um, details, which I went down the front of. Anything I don't like, if I don't like that, I'll just wipe that off because it'll wipe right off for me. Just trying to give a little extra pizzazz to make it older and crusty looking. Not fully covering it, just enough to add an extra color for dimension. Now just kind of dry brushing. Along the edge. Not sure if you can see it by the looks of it, no. But I'll check the video first. Now blend it in a little bit. Everything looks, you know, like it's old and worn and just rubbing off. That's the whole point of it. I'm creating um, one of my pieces that I've done several times for customers and this one I'm doing a little different with colors so hopefully she approves of it if not then I'll just add more of the colors she wants but you don't have to be super picky like this I can wipe back or I can come back and blend in again on it the main thing is just to get details and um, add more highlights to it. It's just an old chip brush, a little chip brush. I like that already. Added a really nice touch to it. Brought out the purple. I don't know if this is a hair from a brush or just a line. Now once it settles the paint, it will lighten up, but when you put sealer on it, it gets very bright.
So this is all I do, and then I keep going back with different colors and adding pops wherever I think I would like it to have different colors blended into it. That easy. Now, give it a little more on the edge here. I'm really loving these colors together. And I hope she likes it because I really don't want to change any of them. The transfers are going to cover up most of these. That's why I'm not worrying if I get paint on them. A lot of them will be covered anyway. I'll leave probably like one or two spaces with uh, just the plain color, which I think I'm gonna do one definitely in this color. So, it's how pretty it is already. Probably can't even see the details. It's a beautiful piece. You got this way. Sorry about the bouncing. Up there is where I added some to, to the detail. Oh God, it's hard to maneuver a camera in your hand. So that'll let some of the pinks pop through. All right, well, I'll add more color later. Right now I'm gonna work on applying the transfer. All right, thanks for watching, bye.